You have no idea of what is coming, President Joe Biden tells Vladimir Putin. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot duty news updates, please click on the notification bell. So, as the battle goes on, you know, debates, <laughs> debate Ukraine, it keeps getting bashed from left, right, center by um, Russia. And then it's like debate is now. Putin is now gradually, gradually, that thing that he wants, that thing that he really, people he really wants to, you know, talk to him. They are coming out. Let's find out more about this. The news in detail, please. Stay with us. According to a news that was published by Al Jazeera this morning, it was reported that the President of the United States of America, President Joe Biden, has sent a strong message to President Vladimir Putin of Russia for invading Ukraine. In his first State of Union address, Joe Biden said that Vladimir Putin does not have the idea of what is coming because at the end of a war he started, Moscow will be weaker. As he further alleged that the United States of America will be imposing powerful sanctions on Russia that will make the country weak financially as they will not be able to import technological products as well. In another sanction, President Another sanction against Russia that was stated by President Joe Biden last night, he said that the United States has joined its allies in closing of American airspace to all Russian flights so that they can isolate Russian cripple the economy. He has no idea what's coming, says President Joe Biden. The U.S. President in the State of Union Address also said that he will penalize wealthy elites and the Russian president in a circle who made millions of dollars from Vladimir Putin's violent regime by seizing their yacht private jets, lodge apartments, and so on. Putin may make gains on the battlefield, but he will continue to pay a high price in the long run for the war he started, says President Joe Biden. Omo. Hey! 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 Hmm. The comment section. There's a one in the comment section, my dear people. <laughs> well, in my own opinion, yes, America and uh, Russia, America is wrong for wanting to, you know, they want to come and put their whatever, is it build, build what? They want to look for trouble. They are, they are wrong for looking for trouble, but Russia is also wrong for having to attack Ukraine in the way of protecting it. There is, that's the angle. My own is, you people are quarreling. Three of you, President of uh, Russia, uh, Joe Biden, and Ukraine. Why can't you come out and, you know, if it is to pull your shirt and throw blow, we know. Why are you killing innocent citizens? Why are you bringing them? Children that did not do anything to you. Mothers, fathers, youth. Okay, in case you've not heard, the latest was that two Ukrainian, very young promising ukrainian footballers have died so far uh -uh. you know rich now you have problem with somebody don't bring it on their children it is a very wicked way to fight now i'm not i'm not even wanting to understand the logic you're telling my own is from that perspective we have issues there should have been other ways of settling the problem this is no longer the 90s things should be done in a 21st century manner. That's my own take. Putin is wrong. What he's doing now is wrong because he's taking lives. Then, on the American past, they should stop being conning. Stop being conning. Stop looking for trouble. Then Ukraine, make use of your head. That is it, though. Let's see what others have to say. Joe Biden, when criminal imperialist Britain and United States invaded Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya, etc., and used depleted uranium on civilian population, where are you hypocrites? Zelensky puppets will pay heavy price. I blame Russia to ever invest in anything in the West. Hmm. Does that mean you should clap your hands at Russia as Russia drums blood on civilians in Ukraine just because? Was USAID so in Iraq? Do you understand our mentality? 
there's no how you want to look at it. These three people, these three presidents, they are wrong. They should sort their differences without dragging the civilians right into their mess. I, wow, I never knew that there are some Putin remnants around us. What a shame, sympathetic towards Russia and the killer and the bully of the peaceful, weak and serene nations. Anyway, thank God Russia and Putin are already paying heaven price for their stupidity and arrogance. <laughs> Empty noise of defeated Anglo-America in 21st century. Word of multipolar international order with multipolar international market do not worth response. Defeated EU countries. Britain and North America are dying snake which lost a tail. 20th century unilateral order and market of Anglo-America is dead and gone forever. The era of EU countries, Britain and North America control global market. It is it over and gone forever. The era of... EU countries, Britain and North America use unilateral order and market to bully countries of the world and store wealth of many countries is over and gone forever. Hmm. Okay. I cannot understand the Russian is good and Mago Bible predicted in, in the Ezekiel and Revelation, the end time. Okay, Gog and Magog, not good and Magog. Hmm. There is no level. Americans and Americans, Nettles, allies are tired of spreading fake news. Because <laughs> it's now obvious to the whole world that Russia has almost destroyed the entire reasonable facilities of Ukraine and currently in the capital already. Now you want to use threats. Almost no level at all. No level at all. No level at all. When you say is if you ask me or if you ask me like what I said what I said, what I said. These two people, these three presidents should set up, they set their differences together. Putin is wrong. America, wrong. Uh, Zelensky, wrong. This can never happen under Trump. Watch. Americans have understood the difference between the two by now. Trump would have sent a sniper to eliminate the Russian president. He did it in Iran. He would have done the same in Russia. That is why all the world leaders connive against Trump. If it was Trump, Russian would have known where they belongs. Let them ask North Korea. Hmm. Oshie? <laughs> we have many good analysts here. This thing, this matter on the sweet me. The conversation is very, very interesting. But we have to go. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.